Welcome back to Terramator Gardens and welcome to our edible weed series. Today we're exploring the fascinating world of Creeping Charlie, a plant often considered a nuisance but valued for its culinary and medicinal uses. Known for its creeping habit and small violet blue flowers, Creeping Charlie is a versatile addition to any forager's toolkit. Creeping Charlie is also called ground ivy or ale hoof. Creeping Charlie is not related to the true ivy despite its common name. This herbaceous plant has been used historically in herbal medicine for its anti-inflammatory and soothing properties. Creeping Charlie was also brewed into a beer-like beverage in medieval Europe, giving rise to its nickname El Hoof. Creeping Charlie is often classified as a weed due to its rapid spread and ability to smother other plants. Native to Europe and Asia, it is naturalized in North America and other regions. Creeping Charlie thrives in shaded areas with moist, fertile soil, making it a common site in lawns, gardens, and along woodland edges. Its vigorous growth and tendency to form dense mats can crowd out desired plants, earning it a reputation as a garden nuisance. Creeping Charlie is found in temperate regions across the globe, including Europe, North America, and parts of Asia. It prefers cool, shaded environments, but can tolerate sunnier conditions. You can commonly find Creeping Charlie in lawns, gardens, parks, and forest edges, where its low growing habit and violent blue flowers add a splash of color. Creeping Charlie is surprisingly versatile in the kitchen. The young leaves and tender stems can be added to salads, soups, and stews for mild aromatic flavor, reminiscence of mint and sage. The leaves can also be used to make pesto, blended with garlic, nuts, and olive oil. Creeping Charlie's flowers are edible and can be used as a garnish or infused into teas for a floral note. Creeping Charlie is not just flavorful, but also nutritious. It contains vitamins A and C, which support immune function and skin health. The plant also provides minerals such as iron, calcium, and potassium, essential for bone health, and electrolyte balance. Creeping Charlie's antioxidant properties help reduce inflammation and protect cells from damage, contributing to overall well-being. Beyond culinary uses, Creeping Charlie has several practical applications. Its aromatic leaves and flowers have been used in herbal medicine to treat respiratory ailments such as coughs and congestion. Creeping Charlie's ability to form dense ground covers makes it effective for erosion control and weed suppression. In traditional folklore, Creeping Charlie was believed to bring good luck and was used in rituals to ward off evil spirits. Creeping Charlie may be considered a weed, but its culinary delights and medicinal benefits and ecological contributions make it a plant worth appreciating. From enhancing your meals to supporting biodiversity and health, Creeping Charlie offers more than meets the eye. Thanks for joining us today on another episode of Edible Weeds. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more insights into the fascinating world of edible plants. Happy foraging.